If you guys are getting tired of seeing videos of the Civic Type R inspired EK Coupe, but you still want to see Honda content, I got some great news for you. You might as well subscribe now if you have not already. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Yeah, her. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. So what is up guys and welcome. Like I said earlier on this car we just got some quick stuff to do. Now what we have to address is the owner of this car bought a brand new header. Now the problem is is the header isn't quite long enough to fit up with the cat back, test pipe or whatever you want to call it. So that's what the issue is. So that's what I have to figure out. I got to make sure that I can get the header, the new header to meet up with the old exhaust system and to make sure that everything's solid nice and that way his car's nice and quiet and he's not going to get pulled over by the police like your boy cop with a swap over there is not going to pull him over and he's not going to have any issues. So the first thing that I got to do is I got to go ahead and I got to get this header pulled off. So when I'm doing headers, I like to do the lower stuff first because I feel like that's kind of harder to do. And then when you take off the top, it's kind of easier and then you could just drop it right out the bottom. And also, when it comes to O2 sensors, I don't even like to mess with trying to unscrew them. I just unclip the actual electrical connection. That way it can all just drop out and I can mess with the header outside of the car. So now that the header's good and out of there, I mean it's all gone. Let's go look at them and compare them on the table side by side. So. Here's the old piece, nasty cast, super heavy with the catalytic converter on there. And then here's the new piece. So much lighter, so much nicer. It's gonna perform better and also make the engine bay look a lot nicer. So with this stock header and catalytic converter, this part right here is the catalytic converter. The reason why people would wanna delete this and I also stress, this is for track use only. This is not permitted to drive on the streets anywhere. It's not gonna be legal to do it. So anyways, we have the big heavy catalytic converter right here. That's gonna be deleted by this nice straight shot. And the catalytic converter is full of all kinds of like filter material. And this is gonna completely get rid of that. This is gonna make the car breathe a lot better. The exhaust is gonna come out easier and you're gonna gain some horsepower as well. So this is gonna attach right here on this end. So we got the header, catalytic converter elite or test pipe is what this is actually called. And this will be bolted back on the car this just has to be extended because there's a little gap from the stock exhaust system and that's where this plate comes in. So this plate will go right there to make it meet up with the other section. And one issue that a lot of people have is how do you know if the actual flanges are going to be lined up? Well this piece is really neat because it's flared out right there so you can twist it. So this is going to go on the factory exhaust and this is going to go on the test pipe. This is just a little adapter piece that we needed rather than extending the test pipe, which is possible as well. You could just extend the test pipe, which I've seen done many times before to eliminate this little thing. So now the only thing preventing us from actually putting the header, test pipe and little adapter pipe actually on the car is just hardware. The hardware that was on the car was all kind of nasty. So I just want to go to Ace Hardware Store, get brand new hardware for the client. If he ever needs to take it out or pull the motor, it'll be easy to disconnect and it's not going to leak and I'm not going to have any issues putting it back on the car. So we have our new hardware and we're completely ready to go. When it comes to headers, exhaust, just anything along those lines that's going to be shaking a lot, it's always a good idea to use lock washers. Those are the washers that, you know, look like that. That's a lock washer. And that way your bolts and your hardware is not going to come loose and your exhaust is not going to fall. So what I still need before it can be finished is we need new gaskets and I also need two new O2 sensors. I cannot get the other ones off of the other exhaust because they're so stripped out and I just can't get them. So it's not a problem. I'll run up to the auto parts store. I'll buy two of these, one for each end right here and then two O2 sensors and then this will be completely done. But before I leave, I'm gonna wanna put it on the car one final time to make sure I'm not gonna have to make any other major adjustments. So 
this right now is just kind of mock up to see if it's gonna work or to see if I need to extend it. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so as you can see, I mean it's gonna work just fine. See we got the whole exhaust and then this donut gasket is real important. And then these two, this is what I still need the three bolt gasket for, the one right here and then the one right here. So I'm gonna run over to the auto parts store, get the three bolt gasket. But first, since I know everything's fine, I gotta tighten down these bolts cause I mean, I mocked it up. This is the final install and also brand new gasket up here. And now just that quickly, just like that, it is now the following day. So what I did yesterday to kind of finish up is you saw me finish torquing down the header, made sure those were torqued to spec. Also, I wanted to point out that I deleted the cruise control and I also got rid of some of the brackets over here just to kind of clean it up, just to make the car look a little better. I always want to do that whenever I'm working on a car because if anybody sees it and they know that I worked on it, I always want to make sure that the car is clean and to just clean up a couple brackets, it just took a couple minutes. So it's definitely worth the extra effort. So yesterday I picked up the new gaskets. We got two of these for our little adapter flange and then we're gonna bolt this up and get this job completely wrapped up. And also you guys, I forgot to mention, I know I mentioned earlier that I was gonna get the new O2 sensors. They didn't have any in stock and they're on back order. So some will be on the way. Just for right now, I'm just gonna leave the plugs in there. That way the car can still run and it's not gonna leak. And then once we get those, we'll install those on a later time. So as you can see, I mean, everything looks good to go. I got my lock washers on there, like I mentioned earlier. Really want to make sure that this doesn't vibrate loose and this does vibrate heavily. So you got to take the extra precaution. Now, the only thing left to do is to start it up and make sure we don't have any leaks. I mean, that sounds good to me. It's pretty quiet. I mean, nothing too loud. Before, it was kind of like a cop magnet. It was real bad. Let's look under the car. Ooh, hoo, hoo, OG subscriber, that's how you know. He got that sticker from when I hit my first 1,000 subscribers and I gave away 100 stickers. I mean, that's just awesome that he's out there repping. It's on his car, and I really appreciate that. And just like that, that's another one wrapped up. Please, you guys, like this video. If you did like this video, I hope you enjoyed it, even though we didn't do too much on this one, but we got the header on, we got the exhaust fixed, and I also deleted the cruise control and we cleaned up the engine bay a little bit. So coming up, the future of this car on my channel, I'm gonna have to talk with the owner and we're gonna have to kind of bounce back and forth some ideas. He had mentioned some more stuff that he wanted me to do. And of course, you guys already know, if I do do those things, I'm gonna show you every step along the way. So you guys know the drill by now. The first link in the description below is gonna be for the Honda lifestyle meet. That doesn't mean just Hondas. If you have a nice car or just any car, we'd be more than happy to see you out there. And I'm going to have a booth out there. All the information will be down below. And again, that's October 13th. Go check out the Facebook page down there. Join the event. Leave a comment. Say you're going for Bodie Vision. And I'd really appreciate that. So anything else? I don't know. I think that's about it. So like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. I'm out.